Spectra analysis allows you to view and compare the spectra of volumes, traces, and wavelets. You can also create plots to compare different wavelets based on time, frequency, and phase. Only time volumes can be viewed in the Spectra Analyzer. To open Spectra Analysis, go to the View menu and select Spectra Analysis. You'll first need to define the region of interest to be used in analysis. We do that in Insight using polygons and window models. Let's open the map view and create a polygon. When using a map polygon, Insight will default to analysing entire traces. One way to focus on specific intervals is to create a windowing model. A window model divides a volume based on time, depth or stratigraphic intervals. In the Model tab, select New Model and give it a name. Specify the vertical dimension of the model, in this case two-way time. This default model has one window covering the entire trace but you can create as many layers as you like, defined by constants or horizons. In this example, we're going to create three windows using horizon A and horizon B as our boundaries. Window 1 is from the top of the trace until horizon A. Window 2 is from horizon A to horizon B. And window 3 is from horizon B to the bottom of the trace. In different processes, the layer conformability and other settings can be used to adjust the structure of the output. These settings have no impact in the spectra viewer so we'll leave those settings alone. Now that we've created our windowing model, let's put it to good use. In the Spectra Analyzer window, we'll first select our polygon, then the windowing model. Now that we've got the area of interest specified, let's add some data to the Spectra viewer. There are two ways to do this. Right-click on the volume and select Send to Spectra Analyzer, or drag and drop the volume into the Spectra viewer window. We can now see the frequency spectrum of the data in the window. Zoom and drag works just like other Insight views. You can customise the display parameters for the different spectra by adjusting line thicknesses and colours in this panel. Frequency spectra are most often compared in decibels, instead of raw amplitude. So let's change the vertical axis. There are several other options here which will normalise the amplitude using different methods. You can find out more about how these operate in the online manual. To precisely adjust the display, click the spanner icon in the corner to bring up the settings dialog. The minimum and maximum values for each of the plots can be set here. Let's adjust the frequency range to something more appropriate for this data. Wavelets can also be viewed by dragging and dropping them into the Spectra viewer. There are two additional graphs available for wavelets. To view the wavelet panels, right click and select Show Wavelet Panels. Insight will update the display to show the wavelet amplitude, frequency and phase. When you're finished with the wavelet panels, they can be easily hidden by right-clicking and selecting Hide Wavelet Panels. Remember, Insight updates everything on the fly. For example, if you modify the wavelet in the Wavelet tab, the spectra analysis will also update automatically. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with Insight!